hey what's up guys today in this video i'm going to touch upon a very interesting and very important part of laravel framework which is working with events and listeners so what are we trying to do we are trying to create a story and when i select users we would ideally like to send an email notification when the story is created so that the users know that you know for uh, basically that they are assigned a ticket so let's say for example creating a new story some some description can come here it's an enhancement and we set a few things and we hit save now when I hit save I would want that an email should be triggered and a notification should be sent to these two users right so in this entire requirement there are quite a few things which we need to look at first of all we are saving the story to the database which is fine and we have a relation where let's say i'm going to my database i have stories and i have story underscore user where i am storing the information about that particular story and the assigned users however if we come here the next part of the requirement is to send out an email now right now we have two we may have multiple now each email which is being sent will take time right and so if we do it on the same thread where php is executing then what will happen automatically is that my save to the database will take a lot of time which i don't want to happen so we will use events we will raise an event when a, po a story is created we will have a listener which will listen to that event now this listener will be queuable so using redis we will be running our queues we will be listening to any new item in the queue and we will process process it and send out that email through that you know queued uh, listener right so let's start from the basics i'm here php storm let me close everything okay i'll go to controller stories controller create all right this is where our story is getting created so i'm creating the story then i am doing the mapping so these things are done what we will do is raise an event somewhere here or rather after this mapping is done so that the event knows about the users and it is able to send out an email to those users right so how do we do that first of all i'll show you if you need to work with queues okay there are different ways to do that let's go to the documentation so that you know you are aware of how things work now we have beanstalk amazon sqs and redis now if we need to use redis there is a requirement to install predis okay so what we basically need to do is do composer require this and it will download that composer package in the meantime what we will like to do is i think i have already set my environment variable to have queue connection as redis so if you go to the config slash queue.php you will see my default queue connection is sync which means it runs on the thread itself okay however if we use redis 
then what it will try to do is use the Redis driver connection is default Q is Redis Q okay so it will use my Redis connection okay so this is this is how we ensure that you know um, our queues are ready to basically listen uh, sorry fire through redis okay so sorry i'll need the story controller we are here so we said that we will create an event right so we will go to the terminal php artisan make event let's say story slash story created create okay so if you look at our current app folder structure we don't have any events folder however the moment we do our first event we have a new events folder and there I have story story create okay everything is properly set up right and we will also need a listener for this event so php artisan make i would say story email notifications okay this is the name of my listener so we have two folders hmm why don't we delete this for now and have that listener inside a folder called story okay just to you know manage our things properly so we have an event which is this we have a listener which is this now let's look at what we get with the events we have dispatchable interacts with socket so you know this is where we can set our channels if we are using if we are working with sockets however we are not doing it right now okay um, serializes model so this is very important because when an event is raised we would like to pass the story object which is being created right so it it will need to be serialized so that the um, handlers can get that object deserialize it and work with it right so this is the trade which will allow us to inside our listener we have interacts with queue and should queue we will use and uh, should queue is a it's an interface it's a contract which we need to implement so we'll say implements should queue okay i think by this time our redis package must have been installed yes so to run to listen to queues we will um, sorry what was that yes so we'll do php artisan queue listen always try to do a try so that if your um, event listener is if your queue code is failing it doesn't go into a loop and continuously try to you know, uh, repeat that and um, you know get and, and all the other queued events will stop it will be sitting there in the backlog because your current event is you know breaking the code and it is not moving ahead so always try to and then so basically what will happen is it will try it twice and then it will silently fail and move to the next one okay so let's go get into the code we need to trigger or fire an event right so event we'll use the helper function new story create so this is the event which is being fired as i said we would like to send some information to this event which will be hmm, that's strange story dollar story 
or rather dollar, let's say dollar story I'm doing a mistake when I go here I will expect a story object now in the constructor I am assigning it however in an event if you are trying to set an object which you need to use in your handler that property should not be private it should be public so we set story as a public property and then what will happen is if we come into the handler okay when the event will be fired this handler will know that the event is fired and so we will get story id let's say or let's say story story will be equal to dollar event story so just to confirm we will just log the story okay it's not getting cleaned for some reason never mind I'll open up my log file it is empty already so that's fine so we have raised an event but how will this listener know that I need to you know, do something so that's where where is it inside providers inside providers we have event service provider and we have a listen array so we will say that we have an event which is story create and this can this particular event can be list be listened by many classes one of them is story email notifications class okay so obviously we can have multiple listeners to a single event for example if we need to do certain kinds of webhooks or other certain things which you know uh, i'm not sure maybe we we are integrating with some other third party api so we need to make any curl calls we can have different listeners we can have multiple listeners sorry in this area and all those listeners will be triggered one after the other when this event is fired okay so what we mean to say is now that my controller has created the poll uh, the so, sorry the story it has done the user mapping it is firing an event okay which is story create I am sending the story object. This event creates a public property called story. Okay. And the handler will receive that object as a serialized data because of the serialized model. And we will see this serialized data in my logger. So let's say our log files are empty. Here is our application. We hit the code and we get our first error, which is story create construct must be, must be an instance of story. App event story. There's some problem. Let's clear it out. Story create. Okay, I haven't imported the class. My bad. Can I do a refresh? Okay, it will submit again. Let's see. Hmm. So, the basic part was triggered and you can see our logs are coming. Right? Just to make a point, let's add one more. Adding one more story. Some description. So it's an enhancement, three users, 18th, and only one. 
hit save so we can see there are you know, certain things logged on the console where we are listening to the event so you can see processing story email notifications processed and if I go into my log file we can see one more and just to prove a point if I stop this right without this nothing happened and we have nothing in here as well however the moment we try this the event was triggered redis new because you know it was saved in redis however no one was listening to it and so it is you know resumed and the process was done right so the advantage is that you know my how do you say a process tries to create a story right it saves to the db it does the user mapping and it raises an event now this event may need to do certain db queries okay do some inserts send email but all these things doesn't need to wait these are asynchronous tasks which can happen uh, on its own sweet time however from the applications ui standpoint i would want these things to happen quickly and the user getting a confirmation that the story was saved and he knows that after some time the email will be automatically sent so that's where you know events definitely um, you know are very handy they are generally done to do any kind of um, you know heavy processes uh, which you don't want on your main thread you know there are a lot of patterns even where you know your entire business logic is event based so you know yes you will find code like that as well but it's definitely uh, it's an architectural decision that which you need to make but that's uh, something which you need to figure out however this is how we implement events in our Laravel application so in the next video we will look at how we can send out emails through this triggered event and we will also look at how we can create an action class when called through the handler if you like the videos on my channel and in this series do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel